I'm going to show you how you can resize images in bulk on Airtable. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com, and I will add a URL to this in the description. So we have a table here. This field right here has a bunch of images. We just want to resize them and save them in this field. So I'll go ahead and show you the tool here. Um, so let's put them side by side. So this is what you would see here on the right side after buying the tool. You'll want to start by following these URLs to fill up the first three things. And then we'll want to have the Airtable field that contains the original images. So this name right here, make sure it's case sensitive. And next is where the resized images will be stored. Same thing, make sure it's case sensitive. And they need to both be attachment fields. And next is we can choose to use scale so that this is useful if you want to like cut the size in half or you know, want to cut it to like 75% or 0.25%. So using 0 0.5 cuts it in half. Using 0 0.25 cuts it to a quarter, etc. So go ahead and run this here. And as it's running, I explain a couple of things here. So if you're using scale, you can't use width and height at the same time because you know scale is just like, compre like making the image smaller based on a specific criteria that you put here. But um, so right here is the image cut in half, right? So this size right here is double the size right here. So what I want to do next is I want to show you how you can use the width and height properties. So width and height can be used together at the same time, or you can use either, and then the other will be measured automatically. So if I say width 200 here and run it, what will happen is the extension will keep the width to 200, but maintain the aspect ratio such that the height is automatically measured. So, uh, sorry, I don't need to add that. Um, so if I open this right here, you see that the width became 200 and then the aspect height um, was maintained. So next let's try to just make them squares. So if I were to do 200 and 200 here, we would expect the exported images to be squares. And oh, by the way, if you see these gray icons, that's just Airtable processing your images. You just, if you have a lot of images, that can, this can take a very long time. So make sure to give it some time to process. So here are the square images. Nice. So two last things here. You can schedule this to run regularly so that it can run every hour or, you know, whatever. And then you can also use a webhook. Webhooks are useful if you want to call it after a, you know, use it as a redirect URL after a form so that it runs automatically after a form is submitted or um, in a zap or something like that.